Come in, Altair. I trust you are well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am. But I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land, and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects. To be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others. The men who ruled the cities. They meant to gather up their people. Make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens. The perfect soldiers. A perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al-Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic, he resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafiq. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No. It was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. He's done. We moved the last of the food cells onto his ship this morning. How much is there? Enough for several weeks. What's he planning, I wonder? Perhaps he intends to flee. Something's got him very scared. Anyway, I must be off. He asked I'd deliver a letter to a courier at St. John's Gate. I'd best not keep him waiting.
You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. Presented to the court of the chain by midday tomorrow. No exceptions, no delays. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for a reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad -Din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. Did they let you into the city, or did you fight your way in? Ah, oh, perhaps I should be more respectful, as I myself now require your help. I spent too much time in the harbor brothel last night, and insulted a Teutonic knight's wife, or so I am told. Now there is a group of them after me. Could you give me a hand or a blade? If you return before I leave the city, I will give you the benefit of my wisdom. You are a lucky man. You are alive, and I am still in Acha. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. No, you don't understand. I'm poor, sir. I need the money. 
Ah, Altair! Demons are after me. Demons with a black cross. They want me dead. Me. Can you imagine? If you see them, tell them to go away. But use your blade. It's the only language demons understand. Please, come back as fast as you can. I will have something for you. In hell! I am a saved man. Here is something for you. I am sure it will help you find other demons that populate Akka. Now I must go back to Masyaf to cleanse my soul. Paranoia knows no bounds. He's doubled our shift. No one sleeps. Wasn't so bad till he decided to make the port his home. He's planning something, it seems. That's why he came here. Planning what? What's the meaning of this? The two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting? Nothing ever saw. We were only... Only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damned assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. Do you find this amusing? Do you? Well, laugh while you can. Double the patrols. Which ones? All of them! But we don't have the men. Find them! Recall our knights from the field if you must. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Must be out of 
fair reason for him to do What's that. What's that fool doing? <laughs> <laughs> You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say. And yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiance to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. It seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Arkle! Stay oh! vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. Venez-moi si vous l'apercevez. Il n'a pas pu quitter la ville, alors restez au taquet. Oh None of you will lift a hand in defense of your master! 
I'll take care of this heathen myself! Please, don't do this. You are afraid. Of course I am afraid. But you'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. Same as you. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.